CapCut recently released one of the most powerful all-in-one AI suites yet, including a free AI video generator. And a lot of you have been asking me to cover the mobile version. In today's video, I'll show you how to create high quality faceless videos in a few minutes using nothing but your phone, just like this one. It was supposed to be just another peaceful camping weekend at Cedar Grove Park. Zora, a spirited 26 year old with a love for adventure, had set up her tent under the stars, completely unaware that this night would become the most unforgettable one of her life. But at AM, something wasn't right. The air had become thick, heavy with smoke. Through her tent's mesh window, she could see an orange glow in the distance, growing close by the minute. Within seconds, Zara's heart was racing. The wildfire was spreading faster than anyone could have predicted. She grabbed her emergency pack, something her friends had always teased her about carrying and started running. But the smoke was disorienting, making it impossible to find the main trail. What should I do? Fire is everywhere. If you've been thinking about starting a faceless YouTube channel or creating AI powered content, this is the fastest and easiest way to get started. So grab your phone, download the CapCut app using the link in the description and let's dive in. Once you sign into your CapCut mobile app, you'll land on this page under AI Lab and you'll see AI Story Maker, AutoCut, and more tools. Below you'll find different templates that you can play around with or use depending on what you want to create. But I'll show you how to create faceless videos from scratch. For those that live in a different location and don't have access to AI Lab, you can access the AI Story Maker through here. Click on Edit, scroll up, and find all tools and click on it. A dialog box will open. From there, scroll up to AI tools and click on AI Story Maker. Here, you can paste in a prepared script or generate one from scratch. Let's generate one. Click on Generate Script and type in the topic I'll call mine Zara's Adventure. For the key points, I'll write, a young lady was saved from a wildfire in a park while on a camping trip. The app lets you create a one minute, three minute or five minute video. Five minutes is the max on mobile. I'll choose one minute and click generate. It will produce three scripts, read through and choose the one you prefer. I'll pick the second and click use. The script will load into the text box. Next, choose a visual style. I'll use 3D cartoon but you can pick from many options by scrolling right. For the voiceover, click to select one. If you choose auto, it will pick a random voice. I'll select a storytelling voice. Note, voices with a diamond icon are pro and require credits to be used. Voices without the icon are free. I'll choose a free one and click done. For the aspect ratio, choose based on your platform. TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts use 9 by 16. For long form YouTube videos, use 16 by 9. Since I'm making long form content, I'll select 16.9 and click done. When you use this for the first time, you'll get a generous free trial. I've used up mine already, so it will deduct from my credits. Click generate. Confirm the credit use six credits in this case to start generating. Once the video is ready, let's play a now, short preview. This. It was supposed to be just another peaceful camping weekend at Cedar Grove Park. Zora, a spirited 26 year old with a love for adventure, had set up her tent under the stars, completely unaware that this night would become the most unforgettable one of her life. From just a few seconds of playback, you can see the character stays fairly consistent across scenes. The video already has background music and basic sound effects. If you're finding value so far, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more faceless YouTube tutorials just like this. Also, I put together a free checklist to help you start your faceless YouTube channel the right way. It covers everything from choosing a niche to setting up your tools and 
and uploading your first videos, you can grab it using the link in the description below. It's completely free and perfect if you're just getting started. Now that we have our video, it is time to make edits to achieve the final result I showed earlier. Click on go to edit. One useful AI feature within the all-in-one AI suite in CapCut is transcript. This feature lets you edit your video using text, which will be much easier to use on mobile than cutting the timeline. To use it, scroll right, click transcripts and let it transcribe the video. Once the process is complete, it will detect filler words or pauses. In this case, it detected a pause of 0.5 seconds. You can select and delete it and it will update the video automatically. Also, if you delete something by mistake, use the back button to restore it. Once your script is clean, go back to the main editing panel by clicking the back button on your phone. Once you return to the editing panel, the next feature I want to show you is how to replace a specific scene using CapCut's AI replace tool. This allows you to change the image in any scene of your choice. First, click on the scene you want to change. For example, I'll select the first scene of the park, then scroll to the right until you find AI replace. Click on AI replace and a new page will open where you can type a description of what you want to replace the scene with. If you have a specific reference image you can upload it here as well if you only want to replace part of the image use the brush tool to highlight the exact area you want to change then type in what you want to replace with the park at night once you're done, click generate and the tool will create a new image for that scene. In this case, it generated four variations for me to choose from. If you don't like any of them, click regenerate to create new options. I'll choose one and click apply and it will immediately replace the original scene. If you don't like the change, click the undo button to revert to the original. Something to note, when replacing images, always include the style in your prompt to maintain consistency with the rest of the video. Now that we've covered the transcript and AI replace features, let's look at how to animate specific parts of your video. For example, in the scene where the lady is setting up her tent, click on the scene, go to AI video. The feature will use this image as a base, type in the action you want the character to perform. I'll keep the animation model set to video 3 Point zero, powered by Cdance, leave the other settings as they are, select 16 by 9 for the aspect ratio and set the duration to 5 seconds. Once I click generate, the app will process the request and replace that specific section of the clip with the new animation. When we preview it, the character is now animated, pulling the rope of her tent. You can repeat this process for other scenes you want to animate. Let's do another example. I'll select a different scene, go to AI video and type, she wakes up panicking. Again, I'll keep the same model, five second duration and 16 by nine aspect ratio, then click generate. Once it's done, you'll see her panicking. From the animated section, you will notice that the video is moving upward. That's because a keyframe is applied. To fix it, select and switch off the keyframe by clicking on this button. Now the scene plays correctly. Next, let's make her speak using the AI dialogue scene feature. Even though this scene already has a background voiceover, we can mute it and add direct speech. Select the image you want to animate. Note, AI dialogue scene works only with static images. Scroll to the right, click AI dialogue scene, and the tool will begin detecting the character in the image. Once the character is detected, type the dialogue you want them to speak. For example, I'll type, what should I do? Fire is everywhere. You can either select a voice from the library or upload your own audio. In this case, I'll choose one of the available voices and click generate. When the generation is complete, you'll see the character speaking while the scene is animated. If the scene already has a background voiceover, you can mute it to make the new dialogue stand out. To do that, click on the audio track, identify the voiceover layer, then mute it entirely. 
correctly, this ensures the original voiceover is silenced while the AI dialogue voice remains clear. What should I do? Fires everywhere. Now, let's talk about transitions, music, and sound effects. If you don't like the default transitions between scenes, click on the transition you want to change. Browse through the available options. For example, I'll choose Twinkle Zoom, apply it, and that specific transition is updated instantly. For sound effects, click Sound Effects. Choose one that fits your scene and apply it. Adjust its placement along the timeline line so it syncs with the visuals, lower or raise its volume as needed. For music, click sound, which opens the music library. Browse, preview, and select a track you like. But CapCut now has a new feature that allows you to create your music right from the app. The feature is called AI Music. Click on it to describe what your music is about in this box. You can use the cues below to add any keyword that reflects your idea and then click Generate. The AI will provide three instrumental music, each one one minute long, play through them, find the one you like. I like the first one. Then click on the plus button to add it to the music track. This can now replace the music generated previously. Once your video is ready, it's time to export. Click export and the video will save to your device. You can now upload it to any platform of your choice. Before we wrap up, here are two additional features worth noting. The first one is video translator. You can translate your entire video into another language. To do that, click on the video translation. Select your target language, for example, French click translate. The tool will process and produce a translated version of your video. The second one is custom voices. If you want to use your voice instead of the one provided by CapCut, you can do so. Go to the edit page and click custom voices. Record and save your voice, then apply it to scenes instead of the built-in voiceover. Both of these features can help make your videos more personal and accessible to a wide audience and that's how easy it is to create a faceless video using just your phone and CapCut all in one AI suite. Also, if you're serious about starting a faceless YouTube channel the right way, make sure to watch this next video where I break down everything you need to set up your channel for success and I will see you there.